Farmer Cam here. It is the 19th of February and I thought today would be a pretty good day. The sun is shining and it's about 50 degrees out. I thought today would be a good day for a little farm update. So I want to start by showing you guys around the brand new prop house that we just built. This will be the space where we do all the transplanting and our starts will live for their first few weeks of life. We'll also try to grow some microgreens in here. It's a 10 by 10 greenhouse. Um, there are two tables made out of um, pallets here in the back. Um, we've put some uh, heating mats here that'll be controlled by a thermostat that you can see there in the corner. And so on cold nights, we're not going to try to heat the air in this space because it's a lot of air to heat and we only need the plants heated so we're going to try to save some money and just run heating mats on the cold nights in here and that'll get us through uh, the colder nights in march and in april is the thinking um, i'm doing a few soil tests right now I'm trying out some new potting soils for the season so there's some uh, a variety of different bags in here right now and, um, and then all, these are all the trays and um, plug flats and everything that we need to, uh, to keep transplants coming out. So it's pretty simple, like I said, but it, uh, it keeps us dry and it gives us a little bit warmer space to do some of the, um, the transplanting. So yeah, we're really excited about the new prop house because it means that we can take some stuff out from under the lights that are in our dining room right now. We have the tunnels wide open today. This allows us to put a little bit of rainwater on our um, on our winter greens because there's no sprinkler system operating inside the tunnel. So we've just peeled this plastic back all the way to the ground and that gives us a chance to let the rain fall. It's been relatively wet lately, so it means that we don't have to spend the time watering by hand in the tunnels. We just planted our first lettuce starts of the season. That's this bed right here. And um, we're hoping that that will be our first spring mix bed for the, uh, for the first farmer's market of the year in April. So a lot of our beds are in a period of transition right now, right? So this bed here is, um, is fennel and most of the fennel has been removed Pretty soon, we will turn this bed over and plant our first spring crops in here. Planting season is really going to get started in earnest in about two weeks for us, right around the 1st of March. Before I let you go, there's one more thing that I would like to put on your radar that's really important to me right now and that is the Leap for Local Food Leap Day fundraiser that they're doing right now. Leap is the organization that runs our farmer's market. They run our market and one other market. They also run an aggregated CSA here in town and advocate for a lot of um, dollars that go to the Virginia Fresh Match program. So they do a really, a really awesome job of working in the local food space in ways that, uh, that that farmers often don't have time for, right? So the fundraiser is on GoFundMe. Their goal is $10,000. They're raising this money in an effort to push start their new community gardening programming that they're taking over from the Community Garden Association here in Roanoke. Um, so you have eight days to, to give. Please go and give and share and let everybody know because Leap does some really awesome things and they need your support. That's all I've got for you in this farm update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.